Living in Florida, I have seen my fair share of hurricanes, but nothing tops 2004. I had just had my first baby, and we were out of power for over a month. It started out with Hurricane Charlie, a Category 4. It was so bad that it literally took down trees. Every other house had a tree through the roof. It was terrible. And it wasn't that long after that we were hit by Hurricane Francis, a Category 4, and then right after Hurricane Ian at a Category 5 and Hurricane Janine at a Category 3. Now all four of these hurricanes swept right through Central Florida where I was living at the time. And it seemed like things were only getting worse. By the next year we got hit by Hurricane Wilma, which was really bad. And by then we had just about had it. We were through. We were moving up to New Jersey to get away from the hurricanes. We we needed a change of pace and we wanted to see seasons. We left and moved to New Jersey. For 10 years we lived in New Jersey and not a single <laughs> not a single hurricane hit Central Florida where we were living. But guess what we got hit with in New Jersey? Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy was a super storm. It caused so much flooding. It was one of the most damaging hurricanes to ever make landfall in the United States. We lived in Jersey for 10 years and not a single hurricane hit Central Florida until we moved back. We had barely been back a year when we got hit by a massive, as a major hurricane with the center remaining about 35 miles offshore, which did nothing but just continually beat us with the northwestern side of the storm, which is one of the worst sides of the storm that you can be on. Matthew strong winds knocked down trees and power lines, leaving 1.36 million people without power. Last year's hurricanes were so bad, I literally lived on an island for like four or five months because there was so much flooding. My lake in the backyard and in the front yard swelled up so high that I couldn't even get out of my house. I had to park down the street for months, trekking through the swamplands just to get to work. Right center of Gatorland. And I know that Florida has a bad rap for people being crazy, but if you lived in Florida, you would understand that we are not crazy. This is just our normal. Every day in Florida is like living in the land of the Hunger Games.